three minute mastery from module two. Here we're talking more about the mechanical equivalence of heat and uh, we're trying to understand better uh, how we can take heat and convert it into mechanical energy. So maybe it helps to try to understand the concept of heat. What is heat? If we have a container and we put some gas in it, well then those the molecules in that gas are going to sort of bounce around, right? They'll bounce off the walls, they'll bounce off of each other, and so on. These molecules are in motion, which means that they have some kinetic energy, right? But you didn't expect to see that so soon. Well, if these molecules start to move faster, then we can say that they have more kinetic energy, right? Because kinetic energy is, is based on the velocity of an object. So if it has more velocity, then it has more energy. If these molecules are more energetic, then they're bouncing off of the sides of the wall more quickly. They're bouncing off of uh, each other more quickly. There are, in general, more interactions. We can then say that heat is an expression of the kinetic energy of uh, the molecules in an object. So the more kinetic energy molecules in an object have, the more heat something has. We tend to measure that heat as temperature, but it's important to recognize that something doesn't have a temperature. We merely record the temperature or see the temperature of something. Uh, an object or a gas doesn't have a temperature, it has a heat. And we see that heat expressed as temperature on some scale. So heat as we understand it is energy. There is an equivalence. Heat is an expression of the kinetic energy of the molecules in an object. So if I have a gas with maybe some molecules and they're sort of meh, not really doing a whole lot. Right, maybe they're moving around a little bit, I don't know, they're sort of meandering, right? They're not moving terribly fast. Oftentimes we would say that this gas is cold, right? Because we would look at the temperature scale and see that it's kind of cool or we could say that it has a low amount of heat. Compare that with some other gas that's in a container, right? And it's moving very fast. And uh, so we find that this has, we might say that this is hot, but really what we're saying is that it has a high amount of heat. And what happens is if we bring these two objects together, and they come in contact with one another, then we find that these molecules that are quote unquote hot will bounce against this shared wall more often and so some of that energy will transfer uh, to these molecules over here which means that the molecules on this side will slow down somewhat. They will in effect become, that gas will in effect become cooler. And the energy that was transferred over here will cause these molecules to speed up. In effect, this gas will get hotter. We'll eventually reach an equilibrium. And these two would record the same temperature. In other words, they would have the same amount of heat. Well, we want to exploit this temperature difference. We want energy to move from the hot side to some cool side. And we can use, we can intercept some of the energy transfer and cause it to do work for us. So what I would like you to do is to find a diagram, and you'll probably want to look online though, you might find this in the book as well. Find a diagram of a heat engine cycle. 